guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines so today we got um work in progress for our basically that uh city that um kind of like the thing that we were working on we have all those these bus stops i'm not sure where all these people are going i think they're going out of the city possibly i don't know we'll see what happens when a bus comes around there should be buses on this route yeah, there's a few of them up here. So, they ha they have a capacity of 80. I'm not sure how many people are in this area. I'm sure we'll find out. Um, I'm not sure if this system will actually work, but uh, the, we'll, f we'll find out in just a second here. So, it looks like there's a fire truck going somewhere. Pretty much everyone was able to get on. Nice. There was even still some room. Oh, wow. Something's going on. Not sure where they're going. Is there a fire? Oh, there's a fire over there. Huh. Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, hopefully our firefighters can put that out. That'd be very expensive if we had to rebuild all that. Looks like we have a couple choppers on board and fire crews are just arriving. I'm not sure if we have a firefighting thing in this area. We should probably put one down if we don't. Oh, this is all on fire too now. Uh, let's see here. We got firefighters coming all over the city to go fight that blaze. So. Yeah, I think it would probably be good to maybe plop down a small fire hall here. Because we have one there. That covers this city here, but it doesn't really cover in here, per se. Oh, what we could do is... Um, because this, is, this fire department's right here, right? So we could just make a uh, pedestrian way over here. So only fire crews can get through and other emergency vehicles. I think that would work fine. So we'll need to adjust this a little bit, but um, it shouldn't be too much, like too big of a change. Let's see if we can't. Um, okay, we'll disable the. What do you call it? The that. Well, no, I want the grid on still.
So I got a little bit of the area set out. So I created kind of like a little roundabout area here. It's not really like a one that is important. Like it's just something that they can walk around and stuff like that. I thought it'd be interesting to experiment with that. And I wanted to um, see if I can't get uh, some of this filled in. And we'll see if we can't bring this up and kind of alternate it a little bit more just so it's a little bit more unique in the design and stuff for the side. So we're going to have to kind of, we might need to buy more, um, what do you call it, uh, train, but that's fine. So I just want kind of like some areas that we can kind of put trees and stuff on. In this area so let's see if we can't build some of that out great so that looks good uh, we'll see if we can't uh, continue that all along the coastline for this and I'm not sure how this is gonna affect the thing I did put a, another bus line in um, going the opposite direction so one goes this way and then the other one actually is there two bus lines on this route there might be two bus lines on that route i might have to check check that out in a couple minutes but um yeah there should be one going this direction and one going the other direction but i'm not sure what's going on with the blue buses <laughs> if they're oh some are leaving blue ones are leaving Okay. Maybe it's just extra buses. Because I did change the color, so maybe that was why they're there. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, we'll bring this a little bit out here. Bring that around. Minimize that. Okay, so that looks good. Um... Try to bring that out a little bit more. Not around here for sure. Running a little low on train as well. Okay, so that looks a lot better. We can kind of blend this in a little bit.
So I've been just basically zoning some of these uh, areas in so residents can start moving in and stuff. Uh, there's still quite a few uh, areas not zoned, but um, I put some parking in. Well, uneven parking, I guess. <laughs> it's not exactly flat here either. But they needed places to park the cars and stuff, so I decided to put some streets and stuff in just so they can um, get there. There is garbage demand, um, capacity, garbage trucks used. Okay, so we just had somebody pick up that. I'm just trying to see if these are trucks. Yeah, so these ones... Oh, wow, they're still um, full. High traffic cargo. We might need something a little bit bigger for the um, thing. I'm not sure if we can do that. Maybe plop another one of those down. Might have to get rid of something, but... Let's uh, go to... What was it? The... I think it's this one. Pedestrian way. Have we unlocked the... Small cargo point. And this is a small pedestrian service area point. Might be able to fit a couple more of them in here. I have to remove some of this parking though. Okay, hopefully that will help uh, with the garbage collection and stuff. Uh, for the other one, I'm not sure what the other one does. Uh, this one is small service point, so we might need that. Uh, too steep in water, so we're going to need to flatten that out a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough soil for this. Okay, let's put in... Can we put that in now? Yeah. Okay, so hopefully that will be good enough. Uh, I don't know what it does, but cargo capacity use, so seven trucks. And this is cargo capacity.
So we got this entire island developed now. So we got uh, a whole bunch of residential and commercial buildings uh, set up in this little area. Uh, I did my best to zone as much as it as possible. We still have a little bit of area over here that we can probably expand to if we need to. But um, yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, space over on this side as well that we can kind of expand to if we wanted to. Is but I'm not sure what I want to do with it just yet. We we could use it for something else. I'm not sure. Because we still need... If we want to expand over here, then we would open up that as well. Um, our airport... I made a little bit of money from basically going and selling stocks. I did that for a while. Um, I found a stock that is... Uh, for air travel or something like that. Which is actually really profitable. Like, if you know when to buy it like for example it's uh 3000 for this one but then there's also cryptocurrency so if you pay attention to when it really drops like down to like 90 or whatever or 96 somewhere in there then it will eventually bounce back up pretty quickly to uh sell out so i made quite a bit of uh hundreds of dollars doing it through the cryptocurrency right now it's not the greatest to buy because it's pretty much at its peak but um this is definitely something to look into. I also put down some more oil industry buildings over in this area and some factories as well. So they're producing a little bit of um, profit from that. Uh, there's also a lemonade factory right on the docks. We'll, we'll probably eventually like expand outwards when we get a little bit more uh, stuff, but um, yeah, it's just something that I've been trying to put into places that we have little nooks and crannies and stuff that we can actually uh, fit some stuff in. But um, outside of that, it's been really pro pretty productive today. I'm pretty happy with the design of this. It looks really good. And all those aren't actual trees. Those are actually like pathways and stuff like that. So they, they won't count as actual trees. Just the side here on the, the banks are actual trees. So it will... Um, Hopefully not catch the entire city on fire, which will be good because there's only like one fire department somewhere over in the side. So outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.